Well, welcome. Uh, here we are in, uh, tell them what, what town we're in there, Peter. Uh, we're in Albuquerque, New Mexico, which is in the southwest United States, uh, Steve informed me. Uh, and, that's, and, and that's exciting that you knew that because uh, what state are you from? Well, I'm from the great state of New York in the New York City area. Steve has reminded me hourly uh, how New Yorkers are basically uh, arrogant snobs that know it all. And so uh, I'm learning a lot about myself and my worldview, and um, Steve's just trying to teach me about humility. So hey, hey. It's, it's been a great couple of days so far. I can't wait till it's over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and just, and just to make sure, you talk to your brother who lives in uh, Manhattan, right? My brother lives in New York City. In yeah. New York City, and, and when you told him where you were, what did he say? He said, where is that? <laughs> my, you know, we've been kidding about, there's a, po there's a poster that uh, uh, was taken from the cover of uh, the New Yorker magazine, and basically the poster is a picture of the United States, and the state of New York, and New York City primarily, takes up nine-tenths of the United States, and then some of the western states in California are kind of snuck in, so <laughs> the, uh, the uh, message is that New Yorkers think uh, they're the last word, and they are uh, the pinnacle of something. But like I said, Steve's helping me to understand that uh, uh, I'm a... a, a prideful, uh, arrogant New Yorker, and, and he's just trying to help me to change and be a better person. And, I, you know, that's all I'm looking to be, is a better person. All right. Well, uh, my name's Peter Megley. I'm Steve's uh, traveling partner here on his uh, trip from uh, the East Coast out to uh, Phoenix. So uh, we're uh, in the uh, uh, outskirts of Albuquerque, um, hiking around. Uh, it's about uh, 6,500 uh, feet altitude. But uh, it's been a great trip so far, really meeting some cool people um, throughout the Southwest. Uh, the highlight uh, the past few days was uh, we were in uh, Groom, Texas, and we uh, stopped at a Dairy Queen and uh, met a guy named Bud Fletcher, and he was telling us about, uh, we asked, you know, what, what's there to do in uh, Amarillo? That's what we're, we're staying tonight. And uh, he said you got to go to the, uh, what's the name of the steakhouse? The, the Big Texan. The Big Texan Steakhouse, and the reason you go there is, if you can eat a 72 ounce steak within an hour, it's free. So you go there, you pay $75 in advance, uh, and if you can't finish it, uh, you, you're out 75 bucks. But uh, um, you get a, a, a steak that weighs uh, uh, 72 ounces, and it comes with vegetables, a lot of bread, and uh, uh, you gotta eat it in an hour. So I asked my uh, this, this guy, uh, Bud Fletcher, if he's ever done it, and he said, uh, very casually, he said, uh, yeah, I've done it twice. And uh, there's a girl there who's uh, on record as, uh, she ate three 72 ounce steaks uh, in an hour. And, and, and that 72 ounces is four and a half pounds of steak. Yeah. No bone, four and a half pounds of yeah, steak. Yeah, I think Bud could pull it off because he was about 6'4", you know, 280. And, uh, uh, you know, it looked like he had a big appetite. But this girl, they have postcards of her, and uh, she looked like she was about 25 years old and weighed about 100 pounds. <laughs> And allegedly, it, it's, it, this is something that should probably be in Ripley's, believe it or not, but they promote it as in their marketing. So if you're ever in Amarillo, uh, check this place out. Uh.